timely ceremony as the International Olympic Committee celebrates the opening of its brand new headquarters in Lausanne. It came on the eve of the IOC announcing which city will host the 2026 Winter Games. But all the shine of the new building can't disguise the fact the organisation is struggling more and more to convince taxpayers worldwide that footing the bill for a two-week sports festival is worthwhile. This time round it's between Milan, Cortina and Stockholm R, Northern Italy versus Sweden with one venue in Latvia. Sweden uh, is ready fully ready to host the Winter Games in 2026 and the Swedish government stands fully behind this and we're looking forward to deliver on a new norm. For me it's a, it's a fantastic bid, uh, a unique uh, opportunity concerning the new norm in Agenda 2020 because uh, actually Milano represented for me, not only for me, the best in Europe. That so-called new norm is a change in the regulations forced on the IOC to get cities on board. It means fewer new venues are required and a firm hand on the costs, no prospect of overspends. After a bumpy ride among lawmakers at home, both countries have come up with relatively conservative bids. The Italians plan for a games operating budget of 1.5 billion euros. The Swedes estimate costs of 1.2 billion. As the process has gone on, the IOC has kept an eye on public enthusiasm and its own polling shows 83% of support in Italy and 55% in favour in Sweden. Still, it's unclear which side will triumph. Either way, the IOC has a lot riding on the 2026 Winter Games, being a success both in terms of sport but also spending. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews.